social workers and your psychologists. And also one has to assess, assess Petronella medically to see if she's fit to have further children. In spite of their physical disabilities, Alfonso and Nella have been able to build a loving home where they are managing to lead a healthy life. We, we do a lot of things together as a family and we, there's a lot of things that we, that we do and like every month, every month when, 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 when we, when I, um, when, I, when we go, when we go pay our accounts and when we finish pay all our accounts and we go sit there back in Kentucky and we have lunch. In the, in, in the morning when I'm sleeping, my son is getting up and he calls his daddy to get him out of the court. And when he's getting out of the court, he's getting on top of the bed to wake me up. Then I know it's wake time, I must get up. He want to play with me. When I get up, before I get up, I, uh, I starting my day with prayer. Then I get up. And I know I will get to this day. Sometimes I'm sitting by the table. I'm a person who likes to knit. When I'm stressed, I'm, then I take my needles and I knit to calm myself down. She actually has a control of the house, you know. She knows how to maneuver that house. You wouldn't believe it. And I, well, I mean, I know she's got someone that also assists and help and all that, but she's always been in control. I'd say it's, it's, we, we, we work together with everything we do, we work together. We, uh,